Recently, I've been struggling to come up with video ideas. That's when I remember I had this, the dangerous book for boys. Looking at it, I saw this, how to make a battery. I thought that would be sick, and looking at the page, I saw that it was made using coins. Obviously, I had to try this, because this was awesome. I went and grabbed all the supplies I needed, until I remembered, I don't have coins, because I'm broke. But a quick trip to the Cash Family Vacation Fund solved that. Dumping it out, I realized I had way more quarters than I actually needed. But, if this video gets a thousand likes, I'll make a super big battery with all these quarters. I really like making content on how to do stuff at your own home. But unfortunately, I need something called blotting paper. So instead of using that, I decided to use tissues. If you want anything else cool that you can build at home, make sure to leave it in the comments so I can build it for you. After that, we're going to grab some salt and vinegar. This is pretty much going to be our battery acid. I don't have any copper wire lying around the house, and I doubt you guys either, so I'll teach you how to get it. First, you're going to get your charging cables, chop the ends off, and then you're going to strip them like that. Once you get it here, you're going to need to take the copper out of it. Once I got my copper out, I wound it into these tight little wires. Make sure you get two of them. Looking back at my item list, I realized I didn't have an LED, but I'll get that later. After that, I went to go build it. I cut my piece of tin foil just like this. You don't really need much. Then I pressed my quarters in my tin foil so I could easily cut them. But because I'm not a perfectionist and because I don't really care, I cut them just like that. Next, it was to make the battery acid. Just get your vinegar and pour it in, and then get your salt and put it in. It's really that easy. Then you, you gotta mix it up because it doesn't dissolve very well. But of course, I wasn't gonna do this without a taste test. And to be honest, this stuff tastes really freaking good. It would taste great on the salads. I tried the same coin press method with the tissues, but it, it didn't really work. If someone knows why in the comments, please tell me. I accidentally spilled some of my battery acid, but because it's edible, I really enjoyed cleaning it up. I wetted the rest of my tissues and then started building it. First, you get your copper wire, you put it on your scotch tape, then you get a piece of tin foil and put it on top of that. Just repeat this process of tin foil, paper, coin, over and over. Nine. Because I'm terrible at counting, I had to say it out loud. It's kind of embarrassing. Just know that the more paper. coins you add, the more powerful your battery is going to be. This is a great visualization Ten. of how most batteries work. Just imagine each of those quarters as its cell. Once you finish your battery, put the last wire on top and put the scotch tape to make it closed. It honestly looks really suspicious, but it's completely safe, so you don't have to worry. Now to test if it worked, I went and grabbed one of my favorite toys as a kid. Do you guys remember the snap circuits? These things were so fire. I loved playing with these so much. It didn't take me too long to find what I was looking for. It's this little light bulb. This would end up biting me in the back later on. I went and tested it, but I was pretty disappointed to see that it didn't work. I was wondering if the light bulb was a dud, but when I tried it with the other batteries, it worked. I was honestly super disappointed, and at this point, I just didn't know what to do. I had one more good idea, and that was to charge it. It made this really cool crackling sounds, which I ended up thinking was electrolysis, if that's how you pronounce it. You might need to turn up your volume to hear it, but it's super cool. Once I charged, I plugged it in, and I was so shocked. It actually worked. Like, you guys don't understand how happy I was. I'm just kidding. I just had it plugged in. I promised myself I would never fake a video. I wanted to see the electrolysis in better action. So I put the quarter and the aluminum foil in our homemade battery acid. It started bubbling and fizzing, which I thought was super cool. As you can see, it ate away at the nickel plating on this quarter. Here's a side-by-side -side to see what a normal quarter looks like and the one that we put through the electrolysis. I actually did my research, and it's not illegal to deface a coin. It says, the fraudulent defacing is illegal. I wasn't about to let you guys go home empty-handed, so I was going to show you a demonstration of how it works. Here you can see you had the battery the light, and our wires. And that is what it's supposed to look like. The reason why it didn't work is because our battery only produces 1.5 volts. The light bulb we were using required 6. If this video gets a thousand likes, I'll make a